Amigas y amigos, la legalización de la marihuana sigue dando que hablar y de qué manera. La burocracia ha frenado la implementación de la ley y ha impedido el comienzo de la producción del cannabis en Uruguay. In a remote location outside Montevideo, a humble president was running out of time. His term was coming to an end, and there was still no marijuana to supply his country. Pepe Mojica sent his best man on the most important secret mission in Uruguay's history. One, go. Start it. Travel to the U.S. to bring marijuana back to their country. Do you know what I can get some weed? Marijuana. Oh, <laughs> An infiltration into America's marijuana industry. What do you do, Alfredo? I am the president of the Uruguayan Chamber of Legal Marijuana. Should I speak to you or to the camera? Me, you're fine. But Alfredo was not alone. His mother has his back. I come from the first country in the world that legalized marijuana. A huge hoax from a tiny country. I want to uh, welcome President Mujica to the Oval Office in the White House. Venimos a buscar conocimiento e investigación. We need 50 tons of marijuana a year. That's a lot. But things get complicated. Trade in marijuana from the United States is always illegal. The leader of the free world is tricked by the poorest president on earth. Salud, presidente, por el Uruguay, por el futuro. Nosotros. Si sale mal. Coten, coten, front entrance, coten. Unofficial mission, the secret story of marijuana legalization. My pharmacy was the first one to give marijuana to users. We started with brownies, are very famous in Uruguay. I'm here in country. 